Patient and family engagement is about engaging patients um, or their family members in their own care. So as partners in taking their medications the right way or following directions or keeping appointments or knowing their, their, the information they need to make the best decisions. That's one level, but there's a whole nother level of actually engaging them as partners as we come up with solutions. And that's what the Patient Safety Movement Foundation does so well. You actually take people who've had experience with the system failing them and you say, okay, help us figure out the solution. And in hospitals, that looks like a patient and family advisory council or having a patient on your board of directors. It's not so much their day-to-day -day treatment. It's actually bringing in their wisdom as a patient and plugging it into decision-making and strategic planning. And that's a huge, huge underutilized resource right now. We're not engaging patients and families. CMS is one of the organizations, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, is one of the organizations that made an early investment in person and family engagement. They're the ones that said to all hospitals, you should have a strategy to engage patients and families as partners. That was starting in 2011. Just now, we're starting to get data that shows that investment paying off. And the data is showing right now that when you engage patients and families as partners, you reduce readmissions and you reduce falls. So those are the two areas now where we have good, solid, solid system-wide data. I'm sure that's gonna be true for other things we study as well, but that's just what's been studied so far. What um, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services did is say, okay, let's really drive um, six things through the entire system. So let's get every hospital doing this. Uh, one of those things is actually having um, um, a checklist that you use when you discharge patients. So they, they get the same kind of information uh, System-wide, you, you know, not variable depending on how busy the unit is, but across the hospital you're using the same checklist technology to actually say, okay, you're being discharged now, where, where are you going, who's your caregiver at home, do you have a way to get your medications, all that sort of stuff. The second one is um, bedside um, um, huddles or shift changes at the bedside where you actually engage the patient in conversation. So one nurse is leaving her shift, a next uh, nurse is coming on his shift, and as they transfer information back and forth, they actually engage the patient um, in the conversation. And it's very, very simple. It doesn't need to, to involve any kind of different workflow, but we got a lot of resistance from nurses uh, for that right away because they thought it was gonna take more time. Once you get into it, you realize it actually saves time. You get information from the patient that actually makes the conversation more accurate. Uh, and so that's one that has been pretty much a success story in terms of implementation. I can't think of a story where a nurse who, um, a nursing unit who tried it didn't realize, oh my God, this is really, really helpful. <laughs> the third one is starting a PFAC. You know, do you have a patient family advisory council that actually um, is bringing in that wisdom I talked about from your users of care into your strategic planning? Fourth is, do you have somebody who identifies primarily as a patient or family member on your board of directors? So you actually have that experience there at the very, very top decision-making level. And then the fifth one is really, do you have a medication strategy that really engages patients and families as partners? Because medication safety is such a complex problem. We cannot really ever succeed in getting people to take their medications the right way unless we engage them as a partner and tell them about. So that's kind of the core of what CMS is doing. And we built that bundle of things into our uh, patient family engagement, um, actionable patient safety solution.